when I left New York, all the reports, and it says, well, the Holy Father is going to find um, very difficult. It's not going to be as other uh, trips that um, the popes have, um, basically, um, John Paul II, when he visited Mexico, they were totally wrong, as most of the time they are. They were totally wrong. There were people everywhere. And um, there was a joy and there was a presence that was dynamic and vibrant. How did this happen? Where did they come from? Well, they come from a faith, a faith that is real, a faith that is um, here in Mexico. You know, you hear so much about Mexico. You only hear that there is cartels and that there is violence and there is this and there is that and there. Yes, they are there. But above all that is a people of great faith, a people that have been guided by Our Lady Guadalupe since her apparition and never left them alone. And that we cannot forget. So all the pundits and all the uh, surveys and all the opinions and we can hear everywhere, uh, they collapse when the reality is seen. And the reality is Mexico loves the Pope. Mexico is a country of faith and the Pope loves his people. I see Mexico in the future as a leading country in our Catholic faith. It has been in the past and it will continue. The times when Christians were persecuted, they were uh, assassinated, killed. Um, our famous saints, Viva Cristo Rey. That has never faded. That is still the reality of this people. And I think that for the future, yes, difficult times are coming. Um, where in, in world history there hasn't been a difficult moment um, for the people, for the church, uh, for countries, historically there is. But there is always have been a group of people strong in the faith, proclaiming what they believe up until death. And I don't see why Mexico at this time cannot give us uh, this faith, the courage, and I may even say the martyrs that have given in the past and have given strength to the faith in Latin America. If I feel in Mexico um, a great elation, uh, a great um, uh, sense of um, being the um, church. In Cuba, I will have the same feelings, but added to that, it would be my own feelings of being home. My own feelings of, um, which will bring back everything of who I am. It will bring back my, you, my, my childhood, my going to school in those same streets, uh, my standing now as a bishop, uh, where before I stood as an adolescent uh, riding a bike. Uh, so all those emotions will come together and, and, and they will, uh, I think they will be summarized in one thing. Now um, is the time uh, for faith. Now is the time for faith. Uh, to be renewed in Cuba. And it has been. It has been with the Blessed Mother. She has been visiting every single town in Cuba for the last uh, year and a half, um, from one end to the other. And at every step, the people have come with great faith. They still need to be catechized. They still need a lot of evangelization. But there is that desire, that desire to find um, God, to find Christ, to find meaning to their lives. And um, that is going to be crowned now with the presence of our Holy Father. Uh, our Holy Father who will come as John Paul II did, as a messenger of peace, as a man who is going to speak to the Cuban people about faith, about what we believe, and never to lose hope. This is a man who wrote uh, two very important encyclicals, um, Caritas Est, uh, Deus Caritas Est, God is love. We have to hear those words. Um, uh, 
and we have heard those words. Perhaps in the encyclical, uh, it's a little more um, uh, doctrinal, more, uh, but now we're going to hear it from the man himself. Okay? And then spes, hope, hope, uh, faith, love, and hope. Those are the things that are going to change the world. They're going to change the Cuban people. There has to be reconciliation too, you know. I have to reconcile myself with um, many things in my own past that hurt and that have been difficult. There has to be reconciliation. Uh, it cannot be a time uh, merely of, um, uh, of looking back at, um, uh, at what may have gone wrong um, looking back at um, my own life, it happens to all of us. We are, we are beginning Lent. And what do we do during this season of Lent? We look at what has been, but we don't deal with that. We try to deal with what is now and how we feel about the future. Uh, Holy Week will move us to that. Um, forgiveness of sin, reconciliation, uh, Christ our hope, resurrection. And, and I hope uh, that um, the people of Cuba can capture that reality.